I spend a lot of time outdoors working in my garden. However, being surrounded by plants doesn't have to stop when I go indoors because I've got a fun and creative way to bring the garden inside by making some pressed flower lanterns. Pressed flower lanterns are made out of paper mache and decorated with pressed flowers and leaves. They provide a soft light and cast interesting shadows in a lounge room, bedroom or anywhere you want to create a cosy mood. First, you'll need to press your flowers and leaves and ideally this process actually takes place a few weeks in advance. Flowers and leaves are traditionally placed between layers of cardboard and newspaper in a press or something heavy on top to apply pressure, like a heavy book. However, they can take up to three weeks. An alternative quick dry method is to lay fresh flowers out on a baking tray. Pop in an oven on a low temperature with the door open. It's great to use flat flowers and here are some I prepared earlier. Things like pansies and violas work really well. Some fine status. Daisies can also work beautifully. I've got some different salvias that have still kept their colour. And even some bougainvillea flowers. And the important thing is not to use fleshy flowers like camellias because they're going to really struggle to dry out properly and they might go rotten. Even if a flower has a thick stem or base, you could even just press the petals. And then, of course, you can press leaves. Now, here I've used some coloured leaves, which have dried quite beautifully. The next step is to make your paper mache lantern. Now, we're going to start with a balloon. Now, bear in mind, the bigger the balloon, the longer the lantern will take to make. And if you're working with young kids, that might be an issue. We also need to mark the balloon where the top of the lantern, the opening, is going to be. And it's got to be big enough for you to get your hand in. So an easy way to do that is simply to get a texture and sit your balloon in either a pot or a vase and then mark around. There we go. So now I know just to paper mache up to that point. Now I'm going to use tissue paper. You need to use something that is translucent enough that the light can actually shine through. And then I'm going to make the glue. Now I'm just using a simple glue which is made with equal parts of flour and water. Simply put it into a bowl and then mix it into a paste. You need to make sure that you get rid of all the lumps and it becomes nice and smooth. This amount should be enough to do one to two balloons. Lovely and smooth. Now I've pre-torn the paper into small pieces and then it's time to start applying it to the balloon. Now you could actually dip these little bits of paper into the paste, but because they're so fine and delicate, they're lightly to rip. So I find it easier simply to paint some glue onto the balloon and then cover it with the paper. Place them so that they're fully stuck to the glue and then we'll put glue on the top and keep layering. You work your way down to the line that you've drawn on the bottom of the balloon and it really is a balance so that you've got structural integrity but it's not too opaque that the light can't get through. Once you've done a complete layer down to that line, let it dry before applying more layers. You're probably going to find about three to five will give you the thickness you need. Now it will take a bit of time to get all the layers you need and let it dry completely. But when it's finished, it'll look something like this. And now comes the fun part. I'm simply going to use PVA glue, apply it where I want the flowers and leaves to go, and then decorate to what I think looks good. You can never have too much bougainvillea. And once they're on, cover them with a bit of glue as well, just so that they sit tight. I'm going to add some salvias, but the longer the piece is, it still needs to be flexible enough that it can bend around the balloon. 
and finishing off with some yellow daisies. Now this might seem like a lot of glue, but it's gonna hold the flowers in place and it will dry clear. When the lantern is thoroughly dry, pop the balloon and take it out. To hang it up, make some holes just down from the rim using a skewer. Thread through some string, knot it up and it's ready to go. Place a tea light inside the lantern and turn it on. This is a battery operated one that looks like the real thing. Never use real candles or tea lights as these are a significant fire hazard. So for a weekend or school holiday project, make a press flower lantern and enjoy the treasures of your garden in a whole new light.